This is a model of complete human permanent dentition, axillary arch. And this one is the lower arch or the mandibular arch. So the maxillary arch is divided into two equal halves from the midline. This one is the right maxillary quadrant and this portion is from the midline till the end is known as the left maxillary quadrant. Similarly in the mandibular arch, this is the midline. So teeth that are on the right side are included in the right mandibular quadrant and this portion from the midline till the last tooth is known as the mandibular left quadrant. Now you will write the dental formula of human complete permanent dentition. So in the permanent dentition this is the midline. So on the, this is the right side, this from the incisor till the last tooth, this is the right side. So we have two incisors, this one is the first incisor in the maxillary and this one is the second incisor in the maxillary arch. So we will write I for incisor and two. This two mean there are two incisors in the maxillary arch. Now we will draw a line. And in the mandibular arch on the right side, there are two incisors. This one is the first incisor in the right mandibular quadrant, I mean. And this one is the second incisor. So we will write two below that line. So it means th these are the two incisors in the maxillary arch and these are the two incisors in the mandibular arch in the right quadrant only. Now. The next tooth to the incisor is the canine. This one is the pointed tooth. So this is the canine. So we will write C for canine. And this is one canine in the maxillary arch. So we will draw a line that above that line is a maxillary and below that line will be the mandibular tooth. So in the mandibular arch, we also have one canine. This is the pointed tooth. So we will write one. In the maxillary arch, there's another type of tooth and these teeth are known as the premolar that erupt in place of the deciduous molars. So there are two premolars. So we will write P for the premolar. And in the maxillary arch, there are two premolars. And now in the mandibular arch, similarly in the mandibular arch, there are two premolars. This is the first premolar, this one is the second premolar. So there are two premolars. So we will write, draw a line and below that line we will write two. No, now next to the premolar, there are three molar. One, two, three, first molar, second molar and the third molar in the maxillary right quadrant. So we will write M for molar and we will write 3 and we will draw a line and in the, now in the mandibular right quadrant there are 3 molars, one first, second and third molar. So we will write 3. Now the total number of teeth in the maxillary right quadrant are 8 and in the mandibular right quadrant there are eight teeth central one two three four five six seven eight so the total number of teeth in the maxillary and the mandibular right quadrant are 16 so this is the dental formula for of the human permanent dentition now another way to write it write down is if you multiply it by two so the total number of teeth will be 32. It means the teeth of the left side are also included. It means this quadrant is also included and the mandibular left quadrant is also included. So we multiply it by 2 and the total number of teeth now are 32. Thank you very much for watching.